Hi everyone, good morning. My name is Kate and today I'm here to show you on how to do these really fun and simple coloring canvases using heat transfer source heat vinyl. These are pretty thin so they work well. You could of course use the square canvases as well. You'll just want to make sure that you use an iron and place a stiff object behind it like a book or something so it doesn't collapse through the vinyl when you're ironing it. Here's a little bit of the items you're going to kind of need to get started. You have a weeding tool, scissors, cooling block, blank canvases, and of course vinyl of your choice. I prefer black. It's bolder, makes it easier for my clients and the kiddos definitely to see. Now heat transfer source vinyl also comes with heat instructions. If you don't already know so, that's pretty important to follow through. You're going to also need, let me show you over here, some images that you're going to want to put on those canvases. These are a little bit what I have going on. This is the one I'm going to get ready to cut. You do have to mirror it, which is why you are seeing it backwards in order to press it properly onto the canvas. Now the square outline that you are seeing is my 8x8 eight eight surface. And so I have cut these choose happy at about seven and a half by seven and a half inches. So if you hang tight, I'm going to get it cut because it is pretty loud and I will be back to show you on how to peel it. Guys, I am back and I have this all cut to size and I'm going to show you a little bit about how to peel it using your weeding tool. Uh, first off, just grab a corner and get the big main part pulled off. Usually goes pretty fast. And then some people do it backwards and they get the little detail out first. I like to just get the big, biggest part off that I can at first. This usually takes just a few minutes, not too much. So hang tight and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I sped up the process for you a little bit. There's a lot to peel. I just want to show you the last little few pieces just because I absolutely love how easy heat transfer source vinyl is to peel. It is just awesome. All right, so there you go. We have that one all peeled, and that's about what it looks like. So hang tight, and we're gonna show you how to put it on the heat press. Hey, sorry to interrupt, but please subscribe to our YouTube channel and remember to hit that bell. Thanks. Okay, so you remember we had got everything all peeled and ready to go. We're gonna move it over to our heat press where I have my canvas already down and ready. So we're just going to go ahead and kind of set it on there and get it all centered. Just kind of you want to eyeball this. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. So there we go. Got it all centered. Now if you remember I was telling you a little bit about those heat transfer vinyl instructions. This tells you the temperature and the time on that. And then we had also had that cooling block which is going to help us cool down the vinyl to peel it off. Okay, so here we are. We're going to get ready to press it and put on my cover sheet here first and swing over my press. Now I have it set at 305 just because my press uh, tends to run a little bit hotter. So we're going to go ahead and get that down and press it at 15 seconds. Here we go. I'm going to do this with one hand just to show you it's pretty easy to peel. I apologize for the one hand. There we go. And check that out. You have a finished coloring canvas. And I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Please let me know if you have any questions.